Since the start of 2023, there have been 18 WWE Ultimate Edition action figures from Mattel so far. And today in this video, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be ranking every single Ultimate Edition release so far this year from worst to best. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new ranking video for you guys. And it is an exciting one, man. We got an exciting one for you. We have every single WWE Ultimate Edition that has been released so far from Mattel this year ranked in this video from worst to best. Of course, we're going to do this again in four months. At the end of December, we're going to accumulate every Ultimate Edition, throw them into a ranking, and do the 2023 Ultimate Edition list. But I figured since we already have so many, I figured it'd be a good time to bring them all together and rank these figures that we've gotten so far this year. You guys know I love my ranking videos, so we're diving into it today, man. So let's shut the hell up and get into my official ranking so far of every Ultimate Edition series from Mattel ranked from worst to best. Also, if there are any discrepancies in this video, I'll be sure to let you guys know about it and how things have changed and things of that nature. But anyways, man, let's start into it. Let's start off with number 18, and we're getting into the Muhammad Ali San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Referee Ultimate Edition. Now, first of all, it's a very niche figure. It's not a figure that everybody wanted on their on their tier list, right? I mean, who wants a Referee Muhammad Ali? I like the base. I like, like the torso and sculpt you have going on here, but I'm not a big fan of these Mr. Perfect like build-a-figure legs. They're very, very stiff, and it's just not my go-to figure, man. It's not a, like egregious figure by any means, and just because it comes in at the bottom doesn't mean it's a bad figure. It's just not my go-to. Too, right? I mean, there's so many times I've said this, and you guys know the credibility for the ranking and like the criteria. You have excitement level for the figure, posability, likeness, all these different things, but this one uh, just isn't my favorite. I, I don't find myself picking it up. It's just very stiff-legged, and I don't like that. So, the referee Ultimate Edition Muhammad Ali comes in at the bottom of our list. Coming in at 17, now this one has kind of maneuvered around the list, but I think I settled here with it. It is the Jake the Good God in Heaven Snake-Up. Coming in at number 17 is going to be the Jake the Snake Coliseum Collection figure, man. You guys know in my review of this figure, I wasn't big on the head sculpt, and it's not my, like, least favorite figure of all time, but it's just not one of my top ones, especially this year with so many great Ultimate Editions. It just falls by the wayside. We've already seen this attire. I do like the formula stuff. I do like the Damien and everything. I just, I'm not the greatest fan of this figure, and he did move down the list a little bit here the more I've thought about it, and that's the thing about these, you know, these ranking videos, man, is things can change. The things we get, more things come out. The more I sit on these things and I readdress my rankings every time I do a new ranking. I'll address it. I'll see where my head's at and where my opinions may have changed. So those are also things you need to take into account. But next up is number 16. It is the Rey Mysterio Ruthless Aggression Walmart Exclusive Ultimate Edition. Not my favorite. You know, I really didn't want this in Ultimate Edition form. I do like that it is a, you know, we get it. Getting this figure, it deserves its moment. I think you probably could have plugged it into an Elite, but getting it in an Ultimate, having the headdress and stuff is cool. It's just not my favorite gear, even though it's a defining moment, and the figure poses around well. It's just not my favorite. Wasn't a big of the context. I don't really care for the head sculpts all that much, but it's a solid figure. It's just not my favorite this year, and with so many different Rey Mysterios coming at us at so many different angles, it's just not one of the most exciting figures for me personally, but I would understand why people would grab it, and I, I like the posability and the, you know, how smooth it is. I just, uh, I have him here at number 16 for me. Coming in at number 15. This one was tough for me. Very, very tough, but I went with the Andre the Giant. Now, this Andre the Giant figure is very damn good. It's it's a beast, man. I mean, look at the size difference between this Ray and this Andre. It, very cool, but I have Andre beating out the Ray Mysterio just slightly. I, I don't know. Like I like the head sculpts. I like the formula. I didn't like the sculpted singlet. I really think a cloth one would have went way better. Maybe they're going to release another one down the line, but I don't like how that doesn't line up. And there's just certain things about the figure that I'm not the biggest fan of. Kind of a plain Jane figure. Not the most exciting over the top, but it's a serviceable Andre. And probably, the, I mean, it's one of the better Andre figures of all time. Definitely, I think it, it's probably just as good, if not better, than all of his elites. But I have Andre coming in right now at number 15 for the year. Coming in at number 14 and number 13, we got to knock out two birds with one stone here. We have the Razor Ramon Ultimate Edition, of course. This one's going to go first, and then I would have the Chase that would go ahead of this one just slightly. I like the Chase better. I like the purple. But this one's not bad. I, I don't like how loose the legs are. It's a solid figure. I like the torso. I like the head sculpts. I like the gear. I like the different things about the Razor Ramon, but it's not my favorite. I feel like he's just not very uniform, and what I mean by that is he just feels a little bit too loose. I, I kind of feel like he's not like he's going to fall apart. I just feel like his legs are pretty loose for me, and it's not my favorite figure of all time. It's a good figure. It's a serviceable Razor Ramon Ultimate. I do like the Chase better, and I don't own the Chase just yet, so there is that, but I think that's my 14 and 13 figures here on this list, but coming in at number 12, I think it's number 12, is the Ruthless Aggression Eddie Guerrero, and I know that this figure is on a lot of people's 
shish list. I mean, it's way too jacked, but I gave it a little bit of a pass just because if you put the shirt on there, it's not that bad, even though it is damn big, man. I mean, you take the shirt off, it is ugly as hell, and if this shirt didn't come with it or it didn't fit the figure well, things of that nature, this guy would have easily been near the bottom, but uh, putting that shirt on there, I can get by it, but I mean, the more I look at it here, I would totally understand if you had it lower, and I, I think on any given day, if I look at this the wrong way, he could drop in the ranking there, but I, I, I don't know, man. I like this figure. I love Eddie Guerrero, the, the iconic gear, the iconic shirt, all these things, but they made him way too damn big, and I look forward to his next Ultimate Edition, and hopefully we can surgery that guy and then fix the skin tones and the different things about it, but moving on to the next figure, it is going to be the Ringside Exclusive Ultimate Edition Jimmy Uso. Now, the reason Jimmy is here, he's lower than Jay, is because his head sculpt, we all know. Not a bad figure, you know, I think that the, not having lower leg cut really hurt this figure. I think if these guys had lower leg cut, maybe a new shoe mold. I don't mind this shoe mold, I guess, for now. They really do need to update it, though. I think Mattel's in the works with doing that. You know, you dress him up with all the accessories. He just looks bad, eh, man? I like all the different stuff he gets here, but not having lower leg cut really pisses me off. And I really like these figures, but we know about the haircut and things like that. It's something that's really hurting these figures, but I have him here. I think he could go higher than other figures as well, but I have Jimmy right here on my countdown, so Jimmy comes in there. All dressed up. I mean, look how good he looks, though. I gotta, You gotta admit that. Next up in the list is going to be the Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes figure. This one, I, I have like a love hate relationship with it. You guys know that they have the Nick tattoo deal. We've discussed this multiple times on the channel. Not accurate. I feel like the jacket's too oversized. The gold's not accurate. I don't know if I really care for this torso. It's not terrible. I think it, you know, it gets the job done as we like to say here on the channel, but they could definitely make a better Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes. I fully expect them to make an interchangeable jacket arm similar to a Bret Hart, similar to a Logan Paul style. I think they're going to do that with Cody Rhodes, but this figure's not bad by any stretch. And I do enjoy this figure, but the flaws are kind of too big to really ignore, and so I have Cody Rhodes right there. Even though I love Cody, I love the head sculpts, I love that figure, and sometimes he he was higher on the list, he's dropped down, he's kind of flip-flopped and kind of, you know, moved down the spectrum a little bit there in terms of the ranking. I have him here for today's ranking video. Next up is going to be Jay Uso. Now, he may be higher if he had all his tattoo details and stuff like that, but it's still a good figure. Uh, I, again, same issues with Jimmy, but he's more accurate than Jimmy, even though his tattoos are missing, but that's not really Mattel's fault. You know, they can only do what they can do. I also like his sleeve and stuff, but for me, Jay's coming in here right in this spot. Again, not a bad figure whatsoever. I actually enjoy the Uso Ultimates. I just think there are better Ultimates so far this year. And one of the ones I have enjoyed more this year is going to be the Ravishing Rick Rude Coliseum Collection. I love this torso choice for Rick Rude. I love this like kissy stuff duck face you have going on. You have the robe. Not my favorite gear of all time, but this Rick Rude is impressive. It's much better than the Jake in my personal opinion. I actually like this Rick Rude a lot. Gotta give the hats off to the Rick Rude figure. I'm enjoying the Coliseum Collection, and I like the Rick Rude figure, man. That's a badass figure. I enjoy that one. He had to come in higher on my list here. Now we're entering into what? One, two, three, four, five. I think we have seven figures just left. So we're moving into number seven. Now my Ultimate Edition Target exclusive Legends Bret Hart figure is actually being turned into a custom as we speak and you guys will see that at a later date but right now I just have the defining moments to kind of represent that figure. Really enjoy that Bret Hart. I mean it's very similar to this it's just Ultimate Edition but very good figure. I enjoy it. The all pink. Of course this has a black jacket. That one has a pink jacket but that figure is very sick. I love that figure so much and I have a men on card version I don't have a loose version. Again I gotta either grab another copy or open up my men on card version. I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet but I have the Bret Hart figure coming in at number seven so far this year. I think I'm on track. I, I don't think I've missed out on any just yet. I think I'm still on track with my thing, but moving on to number six, it is going to be the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Ultimate Edition Boxer Muhammad Ali. Easily the better figure of the two-pack for the Ultimate Editions. I love this, you know? I, I like the figure. I, I agree with everybody when I'm like, you know, did we need a Boxer Ultimate Edition of a, you know, a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive? People really want wrestlers. They want people that are involved in WWE, professional wrestling, so I totally understand it, but I definitely like this boxer version better than the referee version. I think it represents him better. Uh, the robe is bad. Eh? You got the boxing gloves. You can do that iconic pose. Very sick figure overall. I enjoyed this one. It's definitely not my favorite Ultimate Edition this year, but it's definitely in the, you know, it's up there. It's in the upper echelon. I think it's a great representation of Muhammad Ali. 
And that's really all you can ask for, man. I mean, what else could you possibly ask for? Muhammad Ali action figure, I think this one is probably the best one they've ever done. Next up, we're getting into our top five, and one of these may not be from this year. I think it's from this year, but I never did a full review on it, so we'll see about that. But coming in at number five is going to be the Logan Paul Ultimate Edition action figure from Mattel. The Mattel Creations exclusive. I really enjoyed this figure, man, and I, I've gone on to say I am not the biggest Logan Paul guy. You know, I respect the guy in different ways. I don't like him in other ways, so it is what it is, but this is a great representation of him. I love the necklace, love the jacket, like the sculpts. Never was a fan of the gear. I thought the gear was kind of trash, but in figure form, it's really toyetic. It just seems high quality. Head sculpts are solid. Sunglasses are solid. It's a fun little figure for sure, and it, it's pretty sweet. It's a pretty sweet figure when you get it in hand. It's fun to pose around. He's, he's very solidly built, and you can't really argue with it. So I have Logan Paul here at number five. Coming in at number four is one of my favorites of all time, and we have Randy Orton. Randy Orton's Ultimate Edition. Love this figure. The only real thing I don't like about this figure is I feel like they probably could have given him a little bit bigger arm slash shoulders, and I really wish they would have done a different gear. I don't like the black on black. I think they could have done a just slew of different gears. I love the hoodie, you know, the RK Bro hoodie. I also wish it wasn't an RK Bro version of R of Randy Orton. I really wish it was a just, you know, you just a run of the mill RKO Randy Orton. But you know, I, I understand it. It's a moment in time and all those things. But I enjoy the figure a lot. I like the new torso, even though he's missing a belly button. Being a big Randy Orton guy, this guy's gonna be high on my list. And remember, this is just my list, not the right list. It's just my list. So just remember that down in the comment section below. But coming in at number four is Randy Orton. Really enjoy that figure. Coming in at number three, I this is the one where I think it's from this year. I could be wrong, but you guys can let me know down below if I'm wrong, but it is the Attitude Era Kane figure, the black and red. This, of course, is the original release, but I only have that figure meant on card. It's kind of like my Legends Bret Hart. I don't have it loose. I never did a full-fledged review on it. I need to do a review on that, but I never did that, so this is supposed to be my representation of the Attitude Era Ultimate Edition Kane ring with the Raw as War ring. That figure is just phenomenal. This Kane figure is phenomenal. One of my favorite Ultimate Editions that Mattel's ever done is the Kane figure. So you have that alternate repaint. Not a chase figure, but it is a repaint of this figure. It is so damn cool. I, I hope they do more iterations of Kane. So he is my number three. And again, if he hasn't been released this year, well then I guess throw this one out and redo our ranking. But coming in at the number two spot, the second best Ultimate Edition that we have seen so far this year is going to be the phenomenal AJ Styles, man. I love this figure. I mean, this figure could be better though. And I think that's what keeps him out of the number one spot. You know, I think the torso choice is pretty solid. I think, I don't know, like proportionately, like his legs are a bit a little bit too long. His arms are probably a little bit too long, or at least this torso makes him look a little bit too big, but the head sculpts are perfect. The cloth goods are great. The uh, the gear, the attire is freaking amazing. Love the entrance vest with the hood. I mean, this is a phenomenal figure, pun intended. Really wish they got the right skin tone and like chest hair would have been nice and stomach hair would have been nice. And there's some different things that could upgrade this figure, even though if it's not accurate, like I get that, but they really could have upgraded this figure a few ways, but uh, he is a little bit too tall and different things like that, but I still love the figure. It is still a quote unquote phenomenal, pun intended again, very amazing. Ultimate Edition, but he is not my number one, man. Coming in at number one has got to be Seth freaking Rollins, man. No doubt about it. This is easily my favorite Ultimate Edition of this year. I love the cloth entrance robe. I mean, it, dude, this robe is so freaking beautiful. One of the best cloth goods things they've ever done. And I think this guy's actually hitting retail now through the new championship on there. This is uh, just such a great piece, man. Great head sculpt, solid attire, great formula. Just a great representation of Seth Rollins. And if you want an iteration of Seth Rollins and action figure form, look no further than this figure right here, man. I mean, this is just simply incredible. Great head sculpt. And you guys know I love Seth Rollins. So, uh, you know, you're going to you're gonna have your biases come in when you do a ranking, you know, things hit people differently and the nostalgia feels. And I try to keep it subjective as much as I can. Sometimes a figure is so damn good that I can't, you know, look past, you know, how amazing it is. But in this case, I think the Seth Rollins is the best Ultimate Edition so far this year, and this is my complete ranking. I don't think I left out any Ultimate Editions. I guess if I did, you can let me know down in the comment section below. But these ranking videos are so much fun to make. I love ranking videos. I like stats and comparisons, sports, all those things. Kind of wrap up into one. It's just really fun to do and uh, give my thoughts and opinions on all these things. So I would love to know down in the comment section below what your top five is, what your number one Ultimate Edition of 2023 so far is. And of course, we have four months left and we're going to
going to get more Ultimate Editions, and we're going to run this thing back at the end of December, and we could have a nice twist in there, but we will have to see about that. But, but that is going to wrap up my Ultimate Edition ranking of every Ultimate Edition of the year so far, man. I'd love to know down in the comment section below where you guys stand. Leave me all your thoughts on these figures down below. And before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our patron supporters of the MDT YouTube channel. Love all of you guys. Thank you so very much for your continued support. You guys are absolute best. If you guys are interested in that, click the link in the description below. You guys can go check out that stuff. But this is uh, this is great. The Ultimate Edition line has been phenomenal, and I expect it to keep on going into next year. We have some great things on the horizon already, so I imagine we, we should be getting some of that stuff nearing soon, you know? Of course, the Macho Man would have been on this list somewhere. Who knows where he would have fell. He, got, he, of course, got canceled in the Randy Orton wave, but... Nonetheless, man, I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.